Good day guys and welcome to our second test of the rocket tap. The first question and maybe the most important question, how long does it take to warm up the rocket tap? So come with us today, we're going to do a test, a thorough test. We've got a, a 12 pieces of wood and a bit of charcoal and we're going to start it up and see what at the time does it take from, from the heating up temperature. The 38 degrees is the optimal temperature of tap, which I recommend. Um, let's go on this journey and see what goes. Big upgrade from, from test one to test two is we added this side panel to make a double insulated side. So most of this hot tub is now double insulated, which means we're considering the heat inside and it's not exposed to the elements that you've got wind blowing or it's a cold day, it won't affect the heating up of your tub. Twenty-five minutes to one o'clock and we're gonna light it up now. Come on, baby, light my fire. Okay, so there's a startup, and now we're just going to wait until we see the smoke on that side. And then, you know, so once the firebox is this temperature, we're going to close the sliding door, creating kind of a combustion, slow combustion. We're starting it for air, which means it's, it's, it's burning slower, but also burning warmer and more efficient. Stop the smoke from coming out of this side, and immediately you see the smoke is transferring to the fluid side. And that means the heat wave is not running underneath the hot tub. Alright, so we've got 16.3 degrees here. That's our starting temperature. Five minutes in, you can already see the smoke coming out of the flue, which means the heat wave is running underneath the tub, and that's exactly what you want. 25 minutes to, to, to 1 o'clock. Here we also have our big clock. Just for... Okay, 10 minutes in. I'm just going to add a, four locks, four of the bigger locks. Number one question we get is how fast does this tub heat up? And the answer is not so simple because there's a lot of elements that can change. Is it in the sun? Is it in the is it outside in, in the shade? What does the ground look like? Is it wet on the ground? Is it windy? Is it is it, a, is it, is it wind not blowing? Is it a cold wind? Is it a warm wind? So a lot of factors. And also your starting temperature is the most important. So in the winter, obviously your starting chip is very low. And then in the summer, we've got a spring day today, 25. It's bearing for about 25 degrees today, so it's a nice normal average day. It will obviously be different. So, our starting temperature was around about 16 degrees, uh, where in the winter it was under around about 10 degrees. Um, this step is the most efficient we'll ever buy because of the distance we get from the burning to the exhaust pipe up running underneath the tap and it's double insulated. So, you're running on efficiency, your heat is always cutting to the sides, and you've got two meters of heat wave contact with the tap and the two square meter surface area is heating up um, the whole tub on the, on the other side. So we're just over half an hour now, as you can see there, about 40, 40 minutes or so. Okay, 29 degrees there. All right, so that's 29 degrees. And just like I said, about 40 minutes here. Because the heat is running on the other on the other side, from that side all the way to this side, you don't need to rotate the tub. It will automatically, Rotate itself, it's like uh, the heat will just transfer from that side to this side, so no stirring required. 14 degrees, we actually went a bit warm. 40 is a little bit more than we actually want, we want about 38 degrees. But just to show you, within an hour and a half. So once your, once your tub is heat the temperature that you desire, you can close the slider door completely closed so that you, you trap all the heat in there. And now you're choking the fire, but you're getting a close combustion system now. So the fire will burn slowly and long. And this is now the maximum efficiency that you will get. And we will test now how long this bar will stay warm with this, with a bunch of wood. We've never added wood. And this whole process is the same bunch of wood that we started off. We are over three hours in now, still the original bunch of wood. 
didn't add anything to the fire chamber. Let's just check that's here on the hot seat, which is the warmer part. Let's see to the bottom there. Oh, 45. So within three hours, it actually got warmer and warmer, <laughs> which uh, which I think then we should shouldn't have started with so much wood in the, in the beginning. We can actually go down to eight pieces of wood. You see the bubbles forming at the bottom. Let me just show you from closer view. Just look at the bubbles forming there in the side. 45 degrees, that's very warm. It's getting to sauna heat now. Oh wow, it's actually burning my hand a bit. Yeah, well, this efficiency is just incredible. And uh, I don't see anyone beating this. Okay, so this is four hours later. We had no wood, no charcoal, nothing. It's the original patch that we put in there. 45 degrees, so still very warm.